Yo, 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 mic check, mic check, a mic a check, a one, two, a one, two. Mic check, for real. Yo, this video right here, what you just saw in the title, this is not clickbait. This is like, it, this is exactly the opposite of everything that I heard about this little guy. All I heard was solid things about this guy, but my, uh, my experience was the opposite. Roll it. So if you're new here, I normally don't do like tech review type videos on this channel. I do like musical commentary, reactions, lyrical analysis, music video, like all of those type of things revolving around music. But I also like to dabble in like vlogs and in tech commentary and things that I experienced, especially considering that I'm full time on YouTube and I'm also now full time on Twitch. So if you're someone that's a little curious about the content that I make and you ran across this, consider consider subscribing on YouTube and following on Twitch. It's a vibe on both, I promise. And the fact that I'm live on Twitch is mostly the reason why I'm making this. So that way you can see the experience of like starting a Twitch channel or a live streaming or, or doing something on a live streaming platform and I, I had to go through like the ups and downs and the growing pains and you know building a PC and getting all the peripherals and this is one of them. I'm also the type of person that cares about audio quality and camera quality considering I considering I started doing video from photos. So as you can tell, you know, your and not to fan my own flame, but your boy's got a semi nice video setup and audio setup. And because I already had this video equipment, I wanted to do what was cheapest and what was the most efficient for getting this for getting this photography camera into live streaming and everything that I saw was for this guy the cam link 4k I'm sure if you're starting a channel or I'm sure if you're starting a stream you've heard of this you've heard of this guy everybody boasts about it it's plug and play you just plug it into the USB you plug in your HDMI into it and bam you got a four thousand dollar ca camera that is now a webcam for your live streams and I was like bet say less mad easy on top of that when I would go to look at the reviews or I would go to like you know whatever like Best Buy or Amazon and I saw that like and I saw this there always like four and a half stars average rating out of like thousands of reviews so in my mind i'm like all right cool this, this is a surefire bet nah it's not after i got it and after i set it up and after i got everything working on my laptop my macbook and on my gaming pc like this guy right here, I was running into a lot of issues with. The biggest issue that I would run into it with is that it would freeze mid video on me, like mid stream, mid like, I would just test it on my computer and not even go live. And like 10 minutes into a video, this was this, the whole, everything would freeze. I would have to unplug, turn my camera off, plug it back in, plug it, plug the camera back into it. And I'm like, yo, am I doing something wrong? Or, or is, or is are other people having problems uh, with this? And, and the reviews are like, the reviews are positive, but also the negative reviews are negative for a reason. So I did research, went to Reddit, went to all these things. Yo, it's like it's an issue with this thing that people's camera freezes. And the reason for it, at least everything that I've found in the research, is that it freezes because sending video through USB takes a lot, a lot of bandwidth. Your USB ports on your computer, they have a certain amount of bandwidth that they can send data through, and, and this takes a large majority of it. So that right there is a huge problem that a lot of people are unaware of. And I'm not here to knock this, I'm just telling you my experience from it. But I like did all of the, I did all of the tips and tricks that you would see on Elgato. I looked up YouTube. YouTube. I even followed like I'll, I'll put like a screenshot of the YouTube video in case you have this and have the same problems and haven't and haven't found a video to try to fix it. This guy like went in depth. He was talking about going into the settings of the USB individual ports, changing like their their energy set, like all of these things that you should not have to do for a plug, plug and play device. I was having to do. So I went through all those settings and I did all of that and it was still having issues. And on Elgato and on Reddit and on forums and all of that, just talking to people who stream and use this, they were saying like this uses so much bandwidth, you can't have anything plugged into any other USBs around it. I've tried this on USB 3.0, USB 3.1. Then like I've tried it on every single, my, my computer is a legitimate beast. Like, like it is a very nice computer. Crazy processor, Ryzen 9, third, third, I don't even know, I forgot which one it is ryzen 9 something 3090 graphics card like nice ass motherboard it, it's a beast of a computer it should be able to handle this but i saw that other people were like you can't use any of the usbs around it and that's kind of unfortunate and not everybody has the power to use other you like they only have a limited amount of usbs how are you going to run your mouse and keyboard if you if, the, if you can't plug it in because of this 
So when I was trying to find different solutions, like I had to buy a, I had to buy a webcam for as like a backup camera. Should this freeze mid midstream, I use the webcam, which obviously is is like it's a downer for me because I go from a forty five hundred dollar camera to a ninety dollar webcam. No matter how nice the webcam is, it's not going to equal this this camera setup that I have. And not only that, this right here is like 139-ish, under 150, but then you put a webcam on top of that as a backup. Now we're talking about over $200. So at that point, I just went ahead and I bought the Elgato uh, Game Capture 60 for, uh, no, the Game Capture HD 60, which is like the PCI Express version of this. It's a capture card, but it but it hardwires into, it hardwires into the PCIe slot if you have an extern, an extra one on your motherboard. So I bought one of those and plugged the camera to that. No issues at all. So it is definitely a not a, an issue that's not talked about as much, especially when you look at reviews, but it is a serious issue that people have run into and there's really no workaround for it. If you're having the issue, it's gonna be extremely hard. It's gonna be extremely hard to find a workaround. And even if you do find a workaround, now you gotta worry in the back of your mind, like, is this gonna freeze on me midstream? Because now you're providing a, a like a, a poor experience midstream. And if you're someone, unless you're cracked out at the game you're playing, if you're dropping 30 kills on Warzone, maybe you don't need, maybe you don't need a face cam but it's like rule number one in live streaming people come to watch you and they want to interact with you so you need a face cam unless your unless your gameplay is immaculate and most people are not immaculate enough to not need a webcam so now in the back of your mind you're always going to be wondering is my webcam frozen while i'm while i'm final circle on this game you know so for me the pcie slot was 100 the way to go after i did all the research i was like it might it might just be a usb issue so i bought the pcie had no issues whatsoever with the game capture. It's like 189, 199, something like that. But this plus an extra webcam, if this fails and like, it just wasn't worth the hassle. I'm over the dollar amount of the Game Capture 60 with this and the webcam and I'm getting nowhere near the same quality and it's in the back of my mind at all times. Like I can't concentrate on what I'm doing on interacting with chat because I'm thinking about, is this gonna freeze on me? So. If my, my recommendation, if you have an extra PCIe slot in your on your motherboard, just buy the Game Capture 60 HD or 4K or whichever one you want to buy. But in my personal opinion, the issues and the hassle and the uncertainty of this device did not make it did not make it worth it for me. So that's really all that I got to say on it. I hope that I hope that helps people who are thinking about buying it or people who have bought it and are looking for another solution and they have an extra slot available. Just just hardwire it. If you want good camera quality, which audio quality should be first and camera quality should be second. But if you've already got this and you're looking for a good camera quality and you have the extra slot, just buy the PCIe version and hardwire it into your motherboard to avoid all these issues. But that's it. I appreciate everybody listening to me ran it out for maybe like seven minutes. But like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. Follow the stream because chances are you're thinking about streaming. So follow if you want to if you want to stream and catch me live. But other than that, I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.